So with all the new players joining Overwatch, I'm sure many of you are trying to figure out simply which hero you should play. I mean, the game does have 35 playable heroes, so picking one can be pretty difficult for some. Should you play the most meta heroes or maybe even look up a tier list and play one of the best heroes on there? I think this is something many new players find themselves doing. Sadly though, most of those tier lists are meta analysis of what the best players are doing and what they are playing. And I'm sorry, unless you're one of those players, you likely won't be able to utilize that hero to the same tier that they rank them. So here are three heroes from each class that are not only beginner friendly, but very effective. By the way, I also stream nearly every day on Twitch, so you can check me out there. And if you want to see more Overwatch content, hit that sub button and let's get right into the video. First off, we have the Gundam herself, D.Va. D.Va is incredibly simple to play and has essentially two lives. Each time your mech is destroyed, you will pop out as the pilot and when you're in this state you want to make sure that you are not trying to run and hide and that you actually are trying to fight and deal damage reason being the more damage you deal the faster your mech's respawn time will charge not only that her pistol does a pretty sizable amount of damage in her mech form her primary fire is two cannons that have no cooldown but do have quite the spread so you can't really use it from range her alternate fire defense matrix is easily one of the best parts of her kit this will stop all projectiles in front of you. We're talking Moira Orbs, Zarya All, Reaper All, or just even regular fire. It stops nearly anything. Now, as strong as this sound, it isn't something that you can just use infinitely. You can see how much you have on it with this meter right here on the right. Her tactical are these missiles right here that deal a hefty amount of damage and can be used simultaneously with her defense matrix. She can also charge down enemies and fly towards them or try to even reposition through her boost. While using this boost, you can also use your primary and your missile simultaneously to secure pretty easy eliminations especially if someone is weak this is something you're going to want to do lastly her ultimate is an atomic bomb with the blast radius of a country no, but in all seriousness you can self-destruct by jumping out and it will deal massive damage to anyone within its very large blast radius. One of the best ways to do this is to boost in a direction and then press her ultimate and it will cause the mech to launch in that direction. Anyone caught within that will be instantly eliminated. Heroes that you want to watch out for while playing D.Va are Sombra, Zarya, Roadhog, and Reaper. Next we have everyone's favorite great ape, Winston. Now Winston is something known as a dive tank, which means that he is a tank who likes to get down and dirty and send it on top of pretty much anyone who wants to smoke. If there's a widow giving your team trouble, you can count on Winston to leap right in without hesitation to take her out. His primary is an electric rifle that requires pretty much zero aim. So if you struggle with aiming, this is definitely a hero that you don't have to worry about. If you're close enough and looking in their direction, it will damage them. You can also deploy a shield bubble to help create or hold space for himself or his team. Keep in mind that you and your teammates can both shoot through this. His ultimate is something that will not only replenish his health, but it'll also send him into a rage and put away his weapon so he can start throwing hands. Literally, his attacks become his hands and he starts swinging to the fences like Mike Tyson. You want to make sure that you use this against enemies that you know you can eliminate and not waste it on their tank unless they're weak. Some heroes to look out for are Junkrat, Reaper, and Roadhog. Ana can also put you to sleep during your ultimate, so you want to be careful for her as well. And the last tank we're going to talk about is our knight in shining armor, Reinhardt. Ryan is one of the easier legends on this list with that being said he's also a force to be reckoned with his primary is a massive hammer that wings nearly 180 degrees not only that it hits hard just like diva he also has the ability to charge down enemies and slam them into the walls if he does so unless they're a tank they will be instantly eliminated his tactical is a flame stripe that does pretty big damage this is something that you'll use whenever you're trying to zone out an enemy or trying to catch someone that's running away from you you can also combo it with your ultimate which is an earth shattering slam that punishes enemies that are too close to him this will leave them immobile for a good one or two seconds which basically allows him to get free damage on them also his alt fire is a shield that he puts up up that has 1200 health this is going to be your main way of controlling a space or to help your team push forward heroes to watch out for are bastion Farah, and junkrat now that we're done with tanks let's get into dps first off we've got the hero that will feel the most familiar to new players and that's soldier 76 this hero feels like he's straight out of call of duty but with a few more powers he's the only hero in the game that has the ability to sprint and his ultimate literally gives him aimbot which is right down call of duty's lane but seriously soldier is a very straightforward hero and is very effective his primary weapon is a 30 round assault rifle but keep in mind it does have a little bit of recoil and his alt fire is a helix rocket that does pretty big damage you'll want to use this to secure kills if you maybe missed a few shots on your primary or if you're trying to catch someone run away so that way you can secure the kill his tactical is an aoe healing that he can use for both himself and his allies soldier is overall a very self-sufficient hero and is great for beginners heroes you want to watch out for while playing him are roadhog genji 
Winston, and Zarya. Next up, we've got Reaper. Reaper is one of those heroes that can just end an entire team if he is left unchecked and he can really go out of control. His weapon is a dual wield shotgun, which makes him incredibly powerful at flanking. It's also important to mention that Reaper heals himself for some of the damage that he deals to enemies. This will help keep him alive longer whenever he's in danger. If the heals aren't enough to save you, he can also phase back towards his healers or simply just use it to reposition. His phase ability also instantly reloads your gun, so you can also use this offensively. If you're firing off some shots and your opponent's still shooting at you, you can phase to just bait out more of their shots, instantly reload, and continue fighting. Another thing Reaper can do is he can teleport. This, mo this makes his role as a flanker much stronger, as many times the enemy won't even notice him. Be aware, this does leave an indicator of where you're going to, so if anyone is there, they can pre-fire you. And lastly, his ultimate, which is literally just all F4. If he drops in from height or just catches you off guard and pushes this button. Unless you have a counter to it, you can pretty much kiss your entire team dead. He sprays a barrage of bullets and eliminates anyone nearby. Also remember, he heals all the damage that he does, so this can keep him in that ultimate for quite some time. Heroes to watch out for are Widow, Farah, and Echo. Lastly for DPS, we have Bastion. This hero has finally made his return back to the game after receiving a well-needed adjustment. Bastion is considered a shield buster, as one of his abilities allows him to turn into a turret and deal massive damage and melt shields pretty effectively. His primary weapon is just a rifle that has pretty decent DPS on it, but his alternate fire is a grenade that he can launch and deal some pretty nice damage. His ultimate is kind of finicky, but it's an artillery strike. You want to make sure that you're safe when you do this as it leaves you completely vulnerable. After pressing your ultimate, you want to move on the ground to try to find the locations that you want to place your three strikes. Select all three locations and immediately your artillery barrage will come down. Overall, he's incredibly simple, but an effective hero. Heroes to watch out for though are Roadhog, Junkrat, Reaper, and Ana. Now onto the last class, Support. As much as many people will hate it, our first hero here is going to be Moira. Now Moira is controversial because many players who use her try to prioritize kills and not heals. So when using her, please try to actually heal your team. Anyway, she's a hero that runs off of both damage and healing abilities. Her left click will heal teammates in front of you and her right click will damage enemies in front of you. Her damage ability requires literally no aim at all, which is why she's on this list. She also has two orbs that she can throw that will either damage enemies or heal teammates. Keep in mind that these orbs will bounce around, so if you're trying to heal some teammates, it's better to try to bounce them in a position where they can get more constant healing. Same with if you're trying to damage more enemies, it's good to just angle it somewhere where it will bounce around to deal more damage. If she's caught in a tough spot, she can disappear and become completely invulnerable to reposition. Lastly, her ultimate fires off a massive beam that not only heals teammates, but also damages enemies. Heroes to look out for are Widow, Sombra, Reaper and Winston. Next we have the DJ himself, Lucio. He's a very mobile hero that heals his teammates passively. He can also switch between healing his team and giving them speed boosts. This can be good for pressuring weak enemies that are trying to reposition. His primary is a three round burst that does pretty good damage. The secondary allows him to push enemies and this can become very versatile. One way you can use this is by simply pushing someone off of the map, but you can also reposition behind an enemy and push them into your team to secure an easy team kill. If you see Reaper getting too close and feel like he's about to all, you can also push him out of the way as well. His secondary allows for many different things to happen, so get creative with it. But when team fighting, you can also amp up your heals or your speed boost by using your tactical ability, which will increase the amount of heals or speed boost that you're giving to your team. And lastly, his ultimate allows him to drop the beat and give his allies a massive boost in health. It's important to try to use this to counter an enemy ultimate if you feel like maybe your team is in danger and to give them a little bit of extra health. Lucio is probably the support that will take the most skill out of these three as having good movement is pretty important for his kid. Heroes to watch out for are Torb, Winston, Soldier, and Sombra. And the last hero on our list is our Angel, Mercy. Mercy is a hero that many new healers tend to gravitate towards. She has the ability to dash in towards her allies to get herself out of danger or to hurry up and supply heals to one of her teammates that may be critically injured. When dashing in, it's pretty useful to press crouch at the end of it. That way you can lift yourself in the air and become a much harder target to hit instead of just walking around with your head cut off. Primary on her staff is the ability to just heal your teammates and her secondary will give a damage boost to her teammate. Found this to be a very underutilized partner for Kit when talking to new players. Instead of just spamming your heals, it's good to throw in some damage boosts for your allies to make them stronger. You can also do this while someone is using an active ultimate to boost the power of their ultimate and possibly secure more kills than they would have. 
He also has the ability to revive eliminated teammates. Be careful when doing this though, as it does make you very immobile and a pretty easy target to hit. Lastly, her ultimate will allow her to launch herself into the air and fly around to heal her allies or provide damage boosts. Basically think about it as her boost plus crouch, but way more mobile. Heroes to watch out for are Soldier, Widow, Winston, and Sojourn. Overall, picking a hero to play is all about your playstyle. My hope is that in playing these heroes, it will help you determine the type of playstyle that you prefer. But at the end of the day, just pick someone that you have the most fun with. If you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please consider leaving a like on the video as this helps push the video out to more people. And if you want to see more Overwatch content like this, hit that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.